good day, beloved brothers and sisters. Glad you're here on this beautiful day. We are ready, oh yeah, on the 3rd of October. <laughs> and yes, in every day in every way, you know, we are getting better and better. Glad you're here, you know, on this uh, Yoyan Jin experience. My gift from my heart to your heart, every day in every way. And every day in every way, we are getting better, better and better, including my clothes. <laughs> but that's all good. But uh, sometimes, let's see, we work mirror. There we go. Because it's every day we're working on to improve how we look, right? We have to dress for a Dress for success. <laughs> Good. Glad you're here. Thank you for all your being here. Your influence gift. Uh, I was very thankful, grateful to uh, to manifest uh, last week four day event with uh, Brendan uh, Richard. It's another amazing manifestation. And um, what I got out of it, out of the four day seminar that I uh, created out of thin air. And really applying the Jin principles and manifest every day in every way towards my greatness. But what I really, really saw and like really endorsed and really appreciated, everything that Brendan Buchar, Buchar, I hope you know, or Buchar, you know who I mean, you know, I would get better in names every day in every way. But I noticed everything he did on stage, all the chunks, the exercises, the releases, the EFT, the tappings, all the things that I do in my two, trade, two to three day webinars and seminars. Which for me it was an amazing recognition edification that what I'm doing, there's a huge market for. People are willing to invest, to give, to receive and, and engage and really bait themselves into a three and a half day or four day event where they're really changing their lives. This, that was me uh, to really enjoy tremendously. So I'm very grateful that I was able to manifest, you know, three and a half, four hours before the event started. It is at midnight, like poof, let's do it. Book flights, move there and everything just falls in place. And I really see with the gene system, and all the training I've received for the last eight years within Jin, creating and manifesting whatever I desire becomes easily every, every day in every way. And really be thankful, be grateful, and be appreciated for all the things that are coming my way. So I'm glad you're all here for this beautiful day. And I know every day in every way, we are getting better and better. Glad you're here, you're ready for a beautiful experience with uh, all of us creating this webinar at its finest. And uh, just enjoy it with the full potential of life. Let's freeze this little guy here, good. And here we go. <laughs> good. Today uh, will be, Today will be win your morning, win your day with the gin system. Of course, when you set your, set your intention of the day and you do it every day, you do this with discipline and structure, you will set up to win your day with the gin system. And that's really, really powerful when you grasp the concept and really when you're using the proven recipe of success and you keep to the recipe, you will see Every day and every day be getting better and better. And keep in mind, winners never quit and quitters never win. Just, it is discipline. It's, you have to do it over and over again. Don't assume, because you already make ass of you and me, that if you do it for 30 days, it will change your life, right? You have to have persistence. You have to keep going. You have to go to the XML. And just keep on going. Even you are maybe don't see any tangible results in the action you take. Of course, only the change will happen in your life when you make a decision. Success is a decision, decision away. This success is a decision away, right? When you make the decision, then things change. But if you not make any decisions of change or willingness to accept change or willingness to learn new things, 
nothing will change. And it only can happen when you're in alignment and coherence with the decision and then poof, things change. Just keep in mind, winners never quit and quitters never win. You have to do it on a regular basis, even you do not see any tangible results in your daily life for that amount of time. Because you have to do it over and over and over again. There is no really 30 days or 34 days that you make, say, I can do something for 30 or 34 days and then things will change. No, they only will change when you finally make the freaking decision, right? So that's something that you have to keep in mind to really engage every day in every way. So uh, I'm going to share you some insights that some of you already know or maybe have forgotten or need to re-engage in to really set in your intention. And keep in mind, you do it at your own time and space, right? You do it at your own pace, your own speed, and don't try to eat, eat the whole elephant at once. Right? Do not do not try to eat the whole elephant at once, but take one bite at a time and slowly, Every day and every day, you're ramping up your commitment towards your greatness, towards the greatest version of you. Because if you don't do it and you say, oh, I can do all the whole enchilada that I can share to you today, maybe you don't set yourself up to win. Because you have to set yourself up, up every day and every way to win, right? You have to make your own rules. You play in the game of life. And if you don't set yourself up to win and setting up your rules and your way of living, that is most important because when you set yourself up to win whatever suits you at that moment of time, you are more likely to win. If you follow my rules to win, you will likely have a less possibility to win because maybe it's not alignment, it's not where you are, are yet or where you are being or want to be. And maybe you try to eat the whole elephant, the whole enchilada at one big bite and you like and then you have like poor digestion and then ooh, you don't feel good because you try to do too much, right? Just never compare with anyone. Compare towards yourself what you can do every day and every day to improve your performance, to improve the greater version of you. This is just a, pres a presentation for you all there, my beloved brothers and sisters, so you on a daily basis can do one step at a time, the next logical step towards your greatness. And I can assure you, success is a journey, not a destination. And in this journey, journey of life, because you are a traveler, and just enjoy the glow of the ride, and do it in your way, in your pace, in your time, and just be thankful, be grateful, be appreciated, be blessed, every day and every way, but every step you take, because you never know where the journey brings you. And look for the gold, look for the good in everything. Very, very powerful. So if you, my beloved brother and sister, love to support, every week on Tuesday I create this gin webinar or your experience or the your and gin experience from my heart to your heart you can go to PayPal and say you're fantastic and just give a thanks and a shout out say I appreciate your commitment every week on Tuesday to bring wisdom knowledge completely free of charge from my heart to your heart and sharing inside information inside secrets and nooks of gold within the gin training that is normally only available for members, and now it's available to you. Just imagine how powerful that is, right? This is something that you, every day and every way, can give recognition to, to edify, say thank you, thank you for giving. Because the secret of life is giving. And when you give, the universe will, will orchestrate people, situations, events that are for your highest good. There is no freebie experience you have to do something. Could be a money, could be in giving a phone call, a postcard, a hug, a beautiful word, recognition, edification, something that you can do on a regular basis to give back. 
right? Because if you just take, 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 nothing will come to you. Or you can go to the next logical step and say, hey, I love the join the G movement. Then go to my profile, check it out. And I love and adore to welcome you to the gym family. I will coach you, I will mentor you, I will guide you to all the gym training. So you getting the best gym experience ever. And I'm on this moment one of the highest level trained gym member, in my opinion. And my being very committed every day in every way. And also I'm now a level seven, Success Masters level seven member, right? And I'm at this moment the only gym member that has done level five tests twice within the system. That's a very tough test, it's not for the faint hearted. And I already have done level six training more than 16 times. This I'm really plugged in because I know every time when I re-listen or engage in training, I have new cognitions, new aha moments, and becomes a part of me and not just have it in the mind, eh? because of whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve. But first, whatever the mind can conceive, it's right here, and bring itself to achieve. You can see it clear in your mind and then you achieve from the heart. You have to connect the mind with the heart together because thoughts with no feelings and emotions are not going anywhere. The mind needs the glue, the magic glue that is feeling and emotions. And that will help you to ramp up and amplify your emotional guidance system, right? That's guiding you every day in every way. So the quote this week that I'm going to share with you, my beloved brothers and sisters, success is almost totally dependent upon the drive and persistence, the extra energy required to make another effort or try another approach is the secret of winning. The success is almost totally dependent upon the drive and persistence, the extra energy required to make another effort or try another approach is the secret of winning. You, every day in every way, have amazing opportunities to try new things. And I get the sense you are like to try new things and that makes me feel comfortable and at ease. And I know you love and or try new things that go from trying into doing. You do or do not. And how more mistakes you make, how more your setbacks you have, how more you don't get what you want. Maybe get, slight, get you slightly peeved, annoyed. It's like, I don't feel good about it. And one day say, enough is enough. I'm sick of tired being sick of tired. I'm going to do whatever it takes every day in every way to make that change. Because only good decisions are made if you make a lot of wrong decisions. It makes you mental tough and make you resilient. And it gives clarity, say, I don't like this. And then you get more clarity what you really, really want and really, really like. If you don't engage in the experience, you will never know how it feels. You can have a mind movie, it's great, but really experiencing it is really the magic because then you can see if you have a negative emotion, a positive emotion, if you have a big cloud above you, positive or a dark cloud above you. And to the experience, you learn new things. Because if you read a quote every day, or you're reading a book, or you're watching a webinar, or you meet people, ask yourself, what can you get out of it? What's the lesson I can learn? How do I feel right now? Is it serving me? Is it not serving me? Give it a negative feeling, give it a positive feeling. You have to become self-aware. In that self-awareness, you can turn you into you. You need to remove every day and every day to remove the resistance that are holding you back. If you don't remove and you're not aware and you're not awake, you're the walking dead or you're the sleepwalker, you're not awakened, you cannot change things in your life because you're not aware of what is not working in your life. And don't hang yourself up if things are not working. Everything that is not working at this moment for you is really helping you every day and every way to start focusing on what you really, really want. But the thing is, we are naturally conditioned to focus on what we don't want. We are naturally conditioned on the negatives. That's why the gym training, in my opinion, success level one to level seven at this moment, can help you to change the way you think and change your mindset, 
change your attitude towards life and really flush out all the junk, right? At form says you put oil on one side, squeak, 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 and all the dirt comes out on the other side. You need to purify and brainwash possibly your mind with new conditioning, new beliefs, new apostles, new programs, new habits, every day and every way to change things in your life. If you just say, I'm gonna take massive action with no training, you will get some results, but the challenge is you need a lot of willpower and force to break through the wall every day in every way, right? And it costs a lot of energy. And the challenge is you will run out of energy and will get a burnout because you have not addressed your most value asset, your mind. Your mind is the biggest one that holds you back. But the mind can only work really, really well when your body is really, really working well in alignment, with coherence, fills off the charts, right? But you have to take care of this body every day and every day that it feel at its highest performance, at its greatest expression, so you really can express yourself. If your body doesn't feel well, you can have a great mind, but then you cannot really create and manifest what you really, really, really want in this life, right? And persistence is very important every day in every way. I already told you before, don't give up. Don't give in in all your setbacks because they are really your blessings to push you forward. And a lot of people say, I want to change things in my life. Great. Let's change right now. And no, 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 I'm not ready yet. You will never be ready. You just have to take the next logical step, right? And just have the courage every day and every way to work on this planet and leave gift, legacy, recognition, edification, the next logical step, leaving prints of positivity on this planet every day and every way and really move forward. I don't see any human being on a regular basis walking backwards on the streets. Do you? You can need to move forward in life. Just take the step. Do things you have never done before because most things are just false evidence of being real. There are no real danger. Get out of your comfort zone. Do things you normally don't want to do. Maybe you do something like, you say, ah, I don't want to do it. Just do it anyway. But maybe you find out like, oh, it was not that bad, right? And that's really the secret of winning. Try new things and then slowly move to do things or do not things. And hopefully today we can get some more clarity for you on that experience, right? This is the first step I highly endorse all of you, my beloved brothers and sisters. When you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is drinking a water, a glass of water. Preferably, you Put the water next to your bed before you go to bed. Put a lid on it so you don't get any dust in it. So the first thing when you wake up, ah, you stretch. Ah, take a glass of water and that's how you start your day. Of course, you have to detoxify. You have to cleanse and water is a great detoxifier. Make sure it's a good quality water. If you want to ramp up, make sure it has a negative or value. Make sure it has the white water molecule structures, like smallest particle waters, right? Because how smaller the particle water, how better it absorbs, how more cleansing it will create, right? Make sure it's maybe magnetic water. You can get black earth, that's magnetic earth. You can just make a little holder, you put your water in every night and it's charging and then magnetizing your water amazing powerfully it can regrow hair it can purify cleanse anti-aging amazing results you can do i drink every morning living water if you want to know more about how to create living water from out of your well i can show you how to do that it's so powerful that it will just blow your socks off when you drink drink that glass in the morning you just you have a feeling if you have drinking for like quadruple espressos that's how powerful it is without the caffeine without the crust and it's all natural and it's free it doesn't cost you five bucks starbucks 
or getting coffee fix in the morning, right? And there's nothing wrong with your coffee fix. If that is your way of living, it's great. But if you need coffee to get started in the day, then ask yourself, is this really working for me? Is it because you really not aware why you don't feel 100% or you don't feel to pair, you don't feel good and you need the coffee to get up, right? That means something is not in alignment, not coherent and you just take a cup of coffee to get over that hump but you're not really addressing what the real issue is. And then you become like a pharmaceutical junkie, right? Because caffeine is one of the biggest drugs in the planet and there's nothing wrong with it if you're taking in a limit between 100, 150 milligrams a day Right? But if you need a lot of coffee to get through the day, then ask yourself, do you really love your body? Do you really appreciate for who you are? Because you're not really one to confront the issue. Your willingness of confront is back to zero. You just, I just gonna drink coffee. But you're not really looking what is going wrong or is not working inside of me that I need to address. Because the body is just a message to say, I don't feel that well. And you say, okay, I don't want to deal with this tech. Drink coffee or a five hour energy drink or whatever you take. You're not willing to confront why you don't feel 100% of your energy levels. You need to find out why. Right? Very, very, very important. If you want to ramp, ramp it up even more, I add a little soul to my glass of water every morning. And that is pink Himalaya salt, concentrated salt solution. You can find more out on Pure Love Foundation slash soul, how to make it. And I add one teaspoon to my morning water. This will detoxify and flush out all your dirt that, and stuff that is not serving you. Just whoops, you flush much easier. And especially you out there, woman that have constipation and you cannot get started in the morning. I can assure you when you take this in the morning, you will get regular again. You don't get plucked up and stuck up and it starts to ferment and rot in your system. And you say, I don't feel well because you have a lot of toxins. You need to detoxify. This the soul is really, really powerful, very competitive. Because I'm looking every day and every way ways that can raise my vibration, improve my quality of life for pennies of the dollar. Because some of you are maybe don't have money to invest 25, 50, 100, 200, 300 dollars a day to work at your finest. You have to start somewhere, right? And those are very competitive ways to start your day. Just really, really powerful. And the soul also gives a high amount of energy. It replenishes all your minerals. So you can really amplify your energy body you can add calcium magnesium even to your morning diet to either amplify and your manifestation power because calcium magnesium are very powerful conductors of electricity in the body together with all the minerals you get for the pink himalaya salt make sure never buy any magnesium oxide or uh, magnesium citrates or any man-made magnesiums they in general they are not working the well, they leave a lot of dirt in you. Go for magnesium from the sea, preferably from seawater, or from algae, right? Very powerful. And go up to 500 milligrams a day. And scientifically proven, on this moment, to say, if you take your five, 500 milligrams of magnesium a day, you can say goodbye or healing your future diabetes experience because it's proven now that magnesium can address that and we have a huge shortage of magnesium if you don't have the funds to make or buy or let's say you don't have the funds yet to to buy magnesium you can make it from dead sea salt and when you make ormus or white gold it has 50 percent magnesium and has turned atomic gold that is synchronizing and really firing up your brain. It's very competitive to make. If you want to know more about it, reach out to me and say, how do you make this stuff? Because you can extract magnesium out of dead sea salt for the pennies of the dollars. You can make all those things yourself. But we are so lazy these days, we just want to buy it, right? 
And then when you buy it, you have to pay labor, transport, gas, production costs. You have to pay the guy or girl or the factory that makes it. You can make all those things yourself, right? Very important. If you are very cold in the morning, go for a room temperature order, very important. Or even better, go for a warm cup of water, right? Keep in mind when you're drinking the live water or the magnesium water, you have to drink at room temperature and maybe you can add another glass of warm water or hot water, right? It's really to remove the cold wind out of your body and really start your day correctly. Water is very important. Drink at least a gallon a day. Maybe you have to go to the bathroom often. You can reduce that again if you have a negative orb in the water. If you want to know more about orb, do some research yourself. Minus 250 is a good one. Make sure it has a high pH, right? Because you don't want to drink acid water. And make sure the molecule structure of water is as small as you can get, all right? Because you have huge water particles, it doesn't just do much for you. It just goes in and out and does more stress to your body. This micro-clustered water is very powerful. And you can make that yourself for pennies of the dollar, right? You don't have to get the $10 bottle of water, right, that some people drink. And most bottle of waters, anyway, are not doing anything. <laughs> this is uh, not a thing. Another thing, first, when you wake up in the morning, stay off your computer, stay off of social media and email. Have a date in the morning with you, only you, and nurture and care for you. And maybe do that five minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes, and half hour, an hour, whatever work in your schedule. Another thing, if you run out of time and you have to be there at work at eight, and nine, eight or nine o'clock in the morning, wake up a little bit earlier. Don't say, I couldn't wake up one hour early because it doesn't work. You, you have to take the next logical step. Maybe next day you wake up five minutes before seven, and the day after you wake up 10 minutes for seven, and the day after you wake 15 minutes before seven, and slowly build it up because you have to take the next logical step. If you try to eat the whole elephant at one time, say, I couldn't wake up one hour early, maybe you don't feel too pair, you don't feel 100%, you don't feel energized, you feel crappy, and that's not really giving a good vibration, right? Just build it up every day at your own time and pace. If five minutes is a far stretch, then for the first week, just wake up five minutes early. And then next week, and if it's really, really, really a stretch for you, then do only five minutes for the first month. And the next month you go for 10 minutes and 20 minutes and build it up. Set yourself up to win, right? Set your morning up to win. So you can win throughout the day with the gym system, right? You have to find weight. Very, very powerful. Step two. I do this every morning because you have to remove any negative self-image of yourself that are no longer serve your highest good. And the morning and night is a great moment to do those powerful release statements. Of course, if you still have negative beliefs or images of yourself, what didn't work last night or in your dream world or the day before, how can you move forward if there's still resistance, right? Every heartbeat, every blink of an eye, every thought, every breath, right? You have a new opportunity to be a new you. You're never the same person. You're always growing, you're always expanding, you're never the same. Because we're going to do this together, and this will really, really help you to release that self-image that no longer serves your highest good. And it's very simple. You place your hands on your heart for a moment. You take a deep breath in. Well, looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in. We're looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. 
Take another deep breath in by looking up, of, up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And just breathe out. Relax your eyes. Open your eyes and breathe out loud with me, with your hands on your heart. Can you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space? Yes. Thank you. Will you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space? Yes. Thank you. Please remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to do it two times more. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Read out loud. Can you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all direction of, direction of time and space? Yes. Thank you. Will you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all direction of time and space? Yes. Thank you. Please remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space. Yes, thank you. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Can you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space? Yes, thank you. Will you remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space? Yes. Thank you. Please remove all previous images of myself that no longer serves my highest good in all directions of time and space. Yes. Thank you. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Just feel the difference and just post in the comments below how do you feel right now after doing those release statements? Just put in the comments below what your experience is, how you feel, if something has shifted inside of you, maybe something of a buzz and tingling sensation. Just put in the comments below in your Facebook feed if you feel any difference. Because you need to let go of self-images that are not, no longer serve your highest good and embrace the new self-image of you, right? Just post in the comments below, how do you feel after saying out loud those release statements? Share your aha moments, share your cognitions, maybe your inner feelings, your inner experience, and let me know how that feels. This is what I do every morning. I release my self-image that I had about myself from the past because everything is created in the now, in the present moment because it was pre-sent to you, right? And you need to release your self-image. And stepping into the self-image that is serving for your highest good, for your highest potential. Then step three, reading out loud, because when you read things out loud, you're creating vibrations, frequency, and energy. You're creating movements. And when you say your favorite quote or affirmation out loud, that is your intention that you're going to set for the day. Right? It's very powerful. And it could be the same quote every day. It could be uh, a quote you read every day or a new quote. Make sure you prepare the quote the night before so you're not going to look and read a quote that is online, right? Of course, you want to stay away from any electronics. You want to only work with you. When you do affirmations, let's say you do an I am affirmation. The I stands for oneness, wholeness, and complete. The A for Apple stands for our awareness, and M stands for manifested. This awareness manifested. There's eyes for oneness, wholeness, and complete. Our awareness manifests. When you say, 
I am powerful. I just have awareness of manifestation of my power, right? Another coffee I want to give to you. If you read a quote or an affirmation, you have to illuminating the word. You have to activate the word. Just you must know what the word means, the full definition, the power behind the word, and the historic origins, the derivations, the origin of the word in the original language that the English word, English word is divided from, and its original meaning and definition. To determine if you want to choose it or not, you must also unleash and release the vibrational power of the word and their definition meanings for, for them to be effective. Just you remember, you must know what the word mean, their full definitions, the power behind the word, and their historical origins, their, their derivations, the original word in the original language that the, that the English word is derived from, in the original meaning and definition, to determine if you want to choose it or not. You must also release and release the foundation power of the word and the definition meanings for them to be effective, right? You have to be sure that the affirmation gives you a good feeling. You have to be sure that the crowd gives you a good feeling. You have to main, make sure that you look up the words, the origin of the word, the, 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 where the word came from, the, the differentiation of the word, you have to add those words in your personal dictionary so you can put light illuminating the words. Because if you say, I am powerful, and you don't understand the real meaning of the word power, and you have not activated or eliminated the word power, you can say the affirmation, I am powerful for 60 years and get a little result because you have not put light on the word power. For example, a source says, I am a new car, and poof, new car appears. And you say, I am a new car and nothing happens because you have not put light on the words. A lot of words are spells, negative spells that have power over you and disempowering you because you don't know the real meaning of the words. And the elite and their image makers have created a spoken word as a spell of society and you can hear to break the spell. You have to engage every day in every way in verbal advantage. For example, my spell I'm breaking is to every day in every way to come better in expressing and reading, right? Expressing out loud is easy peasy for me because that is the more easy path for me to express, but I every day in every way working to work become a better reader and reading statements out loud. And now I don't care that much if I'm good or bad, but I'm reading, but I know at least I try, I do, and I know space repetition, I will get better and better. I don't care if I succeed or not succeed, if I make mistakes or glitches, at least I'm doing it because I have a care but not that much attitude, right? It's you, when you read quotes in the morning, make sure before you go to bed at night, to make sure that you understand all words. For example, the word understand means, when you say to the police officer, police officer asks you, do you understand? If you say yes, then by law means, now you understand under the police officer. You're giving all your power away to the officer. This understand means, I stand under you, right? Because if you tell the police officer you get hold on the, by, by uh, driving and the police officer say, go to the side of the road and the police officer asks you, do you understand me? You say, yes, officer. Then you stand under him. You're giving all your power and authority to him away. And then you have no power. You have no saying. You are now completely obedient and you have to be completely compliant to the law and rule of the regulations, right? There's Make sure before you go to bed, have the crowd ready, have the affirmation ready, right? And make sure that you have a knowing, an understanding of the word, and make sure you illuminate and activate the word. The definition, the original word, 
and make sure that the words that you read feels good. If they do not feel good, why are you going to read it? If they don't feel good, it means you need to release the energetic resistance or the hook or the negative vibration that the word has over you and maybe do some EFT, TFT, BEST or releasing the power and the spell of the word that has over you, right? Because that's the thing that more people understand. Yeah, I've been reading affirmation for two days. No shit is happening. First of all, you focus on the shit, that you will get more shit in life, right? <laughs> in the words of Mary Miller, the world of world of pee and poo, right? Because you have not put the light and activate the word. You are still the student. You're not the sorcerer, right? You have not made known is of the word. Just keep that in mind, prepare at night the quote and make sure it is all handwritten in your dictionary or journal or in your uh, prior to manage and make sure that you have a deep understanding of all the words. That's why Kevin Doe say, stop the recording, stop reading right now, look up the word. And most of you are like, whatever, you know, and you just continue. KT installs the secrets when he gives a certain word. And then you don't pay attention, you're not aware, and you just continue, and you're missing the nugget of gold can, that can change your life, right? This is very important, break the spell, be aware, do some research, prepare your I am statements, and make sure they feel good. And if they don't feel good, release, do some release techniques. Make sure you understand every word that is used in your morning affirmations or your morning quote right very very powerful the jump start your day after the affirmation you want to get your juices going and they're going to give you an exercise that can really ramp up your energy and make sure if you have any chance in your heart center or you have a chance with your heart or you're lightheaded because of uh, low blood pressure, right? Make sure you reach out to your physician and see if this exercise is something that you can do, right? Because if you don't know your condition, it can change. I endorse you when you do this standing, right? That you have a chair behind you. If you feel dizzy and you don't feel good, stop the exercise, sit down and come back to normal breathing. And then wait till you feel good again and don't stand up straight, right? And sit down and take some time because maybe your body needs to align and adjust, right? This is very important to do this exercise every day and every way. But make sure that you feel good, right? Because if you also have lung challenges or you have asthma, right? You have to be very sure that this is something you can do. This again. Do this in a way that you, again, set yourself up to win. An exercise is very simple. Place your hands on your heart for a moment. You take a deep breath in. You breathe out. You breathe in. And you breathe out. You breathe in. And you breathe out. Good. So make fist. When you breathe in, your hand goes up. And you breathe out, you breathe out. You do it in your mouth, you make a sound. And we're going to do it this way. The blue sound. The blowed out sound, right? Which you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we're going to build this up. You already feel tingling going in your body. It means you're refreshing, you're energizing, you're, you're putting more energy and oxygen into your system. And we're gonna build this up. That's very powerful. So are you ready? Say yes! <laughs> All right, good. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And keep it going.
and go faster. Come back, you can play your hands on your heart for a moment. Just come back in your center, let the tingling, vibration grow and expand to the size of the sun. And then just engage this feeling. Let's come back to normal breathing. And let the feeling just grow and expand to the size of the sun, purifying your body, mind and soul. And only the purest essence is remaining ever vibe being now and forevermore. Feel that vibration. And then every day you're gonna make this breathing exercise longer. It's the first day you do a minute, or maybe 30 seconds for the first time, then go to a minute, and then the day after one minute to 30 minutes. If one let's do this a new end of time. First day you do 30 seconds, then the next day a minute, one minute, 30 seconds, two minutes to 30 seconds, and you build it up. Up to five minutes, that will be ultimately, and even longer, and you can do this exercise all today to get your energy back up, because when you feel energized, you can confront life much easier, and because your vibration is off the charts, no one can pull you down. Right? This is very, very powerful to be aware. So we're going to do it again. We're going to do this for, um, for as long as we can. And just enjoy the journey. Make, make fist. You open your hands. You breathe in. And when you're in the air, right, you make fist again. You pull back to your body. Breathe in. Open your eye, hands. Make fist. Come back to chest. Open your eyes. I got eyes in my hands. Open your hands <laughs> and go in there. Right, I'm still a bit uh, oxygenating myself. Like I could say, what funny things. <laughs> it's like I'm on the helium. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. All right, you ready? Get ready. Breathe in. Faster. Please answer your heart. Awaken breathing, let the sensation expand to all your body. Feel the vibration, the tinkling. Honor that new energy. Integrate the chi, the life force, and the you being, and really, really engage. Just type in the comments below, how do you feel right now, you know, for this very short breathing exercise? Is your breathe in, make fist, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You build it up. Every day you make it longer and longer. And this makes you a champion and get your peak performance, makes you feel freaking awesome. And you're feeling alive and alert, feeling great, right? I'm alive, I'm alert, I feel great, just like you. This is very important to do this over and over again to the day. When you feel a bit sleepy or around 11 or noontime or you have open Dylan's yourself on lunch and you're like, oh. <laughs> coming okay great you can also do this right breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out just breathe in breathe out 
and build it up and you feel the vibration, the energy that is releasing. But you need to keep your vibration high every day and every way. When you're so high in vibration, feel so off the chart, you feel so good, no one can ever pull you down. You become like a rocket and you put more fuel in your rocket and you go faster and faster. And everything that is not serving you cannot hold on and just let it go and it goes all to down to the lower rounds and you just levitate in good vibrations, right? It's very, very powerful to do on a regular basis to really engage your energy. And tip I want to give you to make this even more powerful. If you do the, the, uh, the breathing scaling, right? The scanning your breathing this year. You start with a slow pace and then you're gonna build momentum, you build up the speed, right? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe into your nose, blow it out to the mouth. Okay. You want to really want to make that sound, right? When you're in that high vibration, I want you to write down three power words. For my power words are sovereignty, liberation, freedom. If you're gonna look for three powerful words that has a powerful meaning for you, that is your intention, right? That you say, these are the words that I live for. And make sure that they illuminated, activated words, right? Do some homework. You pick three words, right? When you have found three words, say this is the words for this amount of time. You can always up them and change them, but you can also keep them. Let's say my words are sovereignty, liberation, freedom, right? When you have done your breathing scale, energizing uh, breathing exercise, you can do the words because you have high vibration and then you can install your words. There's three words that are very powerful for you that can help you to grow and expand. And how you're going to do it is very simple. You're going to tap on the side of your hand and then you say, my words are sovereignty, freedom. So let's do it properly. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Then I go here, cry on my head. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. I go to this point, EFT, right? Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Sovereignty, liberation, freedom. This, I will continue this pattern. Just now write down three words that come to mind that are very powerful for you. Write down three words or put, put them in the comments below and write down three words, three power words that you're gonna use as a daily reminder to be the greatest version of you. Write them down. Just write down white paper, blue pen, write down three power words. Just write them down quickly. You can always change them and think about the rest of the day, which words you're gonna pick that will be your words for that week, that month, or for the coming six months, or that year. Good. All right, perfect. I know for sure most of you get the words. Make sure you're gonna illuminate, activate, do some research, the origin of the word, where the word came from, right? So you know, we, they're fully, fully activated. Okay, we do a quick, now we're gonna do the breathing scaling exercise, right? And then we're gonna do the words. Just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Place your hands on your heart for a moment. 
Let the fire raging come. Come back to your normal self. Good. Now start tapping on the side of your hands. And repeat your words out loud or in your mind. Because if you're in a meeting, you cannot do it, but if you're with yourself, I prefer to do it out loud. Because you're going to say your words out loud. I repeat them three times. Because my words are sovereignty, liberation, freedom. Sovereignty, freedom, liberation. Sovereignty, free, liberation. Now you're going to continue with your words and just follow me. I'll be silent so you can do your words. The next spot. Go to the next location. Next one. You're going to say your words on, when you tap out loud or in your mind. Go to the next EFT spot. Go to the next spot. Say your three words out loud, maybe while tapping three times. Go to your armpits for a moment. Now you go to your chest just on the little bone, you tap, and you're gonna add a little bit of thing to it. I, my words are, but I'm gonna add I am to it, okay? I am sovereignty. I am liberation. I am freedom. I am sovereignty. I am liberation. I am freedom. I am sovereignty. I am liberation. I M freedom. Place your hands on your heart. You have said your words. And just checking how you feel right now. And just place in the comments below how you feel. Those three words are your power words that you can use throughout the day. And tip I can give you how to remind yourself on your phone, you can put alarms and you can put your alarm for, let's say 10 o'clock or 12 o'clock and maybe again at three o'clock and maybe at six o'clock, the alarm goes off and, and it shows your power words. So you remind yourself to use those words through the day because we need to be reminded, right? Because we forget through the day because life live us and then we forget that we have to live our lives and the reminders in your phone can help you to be reminded to do those words. <clears throat> Another thing you can add when you say, I am freedom, you can say, yes, I am freedom, right? You can add yes for it. There's yes, I am freedom. And then you can add it even more powerful because yes, you give the command to the universe, open the doors, yes, I am freedom, right? And then you can also do this way, you know, if you are alone, and you have done your tapping, you can all say, yes, I am freedom, boom, right? Because you can find your own ways, because the boom is blowing away, that's resisting holding back and letting go of the past, right? Because you can do those techniques to really set your intention. The, the, the breathing, scaling exercise you can do anytime you feel a little bit low in energy, you may be foggy in the mind, you need to do something that needs energy, 
right? Instead of you taking a caffeine fix or a five hour energy or whatever you need to get through the day, you can do that. Keep in mind, we do a little bit longer now, right? Of course, we showing and we exercise, but the brief exercise will not take more than a minute or twenty or two minutes, right? Very short, and very powerful. You get your vibration high. You do your three power words. Put a reminder in your phone, so you remind at ten. You maybe you do that twelve again, three and six and nine, right? So you remind yourself that there are your power words, and there's three words that are serving you, right? So if you are, let's say. You are focused on more money. You can say my power words are well, prosperity, abundance, right? And then that will be your words that you put in your phone and remind you. Because you have done your briefing, you have done your power words. Then I highly endorse you to take a freaking cold shower to jumpstart your day. Why a cold shower? It removes all negativity, negative beliefs, any aches and pains in the body and really will jumpstart your system, start detoxifying and cleansing. Maybe some of you will not enjoy it, like, I don't want a cold shower. But the question is, what is your willingness to accept change? Do you want to be foggy, tired, not feeling good in the morning? Or you say, no, I really want to kick ass, I want to be the greatest, best version of me. Then a cold shower is great. Again, you set yourself up to win, you make your own rules, you can do a warm shower, and then you do a one minute cold shower. And then you maybe take a warm shower and you do a five minute cold shower. And then maybe when you build up, you can say, no, I can do a completely cold shower only. Cold shower is great for mother nature. It's great for your electricity bill. But most important, it's a freaking amazing body. I can assure you when you get through this mental, like, oh, it's cold water, I don't like it. <laughs> Start whining and complaining, just do it now because I can show you, you're gonna fall in love with the cold shower. I do it every day, you know, or every single day I take a cold shower. It really jump starts my day. And I have shared on my Facebook uh, feed the next level of cold shower. It's the ice bath, okay? If you wanna know more about it, just take my Facebook feed. It's gonna freak you out, but um, I can show you when you take your ice bath, <laughs> any aches and pains or your body like oh I don't feel so well today will just fade away you know you're gonna feel like a 20 year old again it's really really amazing take a cold shower very important make sure you use organic products on your body because your body uh, your skin is the biggest organ or organ 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 you know not an organ but you know <laughs> your greatest organ I will get to the words. I have a lot of downloads, a lot of word spending. So I'm getting better. Poof, bam. All right. But make sure you take care of organic products, right, on your body because your skin is your biggest organ. Your your it absorbs all the toxins. Make sure you use a water filter in your shower because you don't want to glorify your body, right, and put that toxin into your skin. Make sure your organic products, and make sure it's perfume free. Make sure it's carbon free and on the other gamma compound compounds that are not serving you, right? Because why you say, I love my bar of soap, it smells so good. I love to put it on my body, I love my body, but it's pure poison you put on your body. And you say, I love my soaps. No, you don't love your body because you put stuff on your body that's not helping you to raise your vibration, right? So that's very important. Also brush your teeth, you know, refresh, maybe do oil peel pooling in the morning, right? Because oil pooling is amazing, 10 to 15 minutes. Of course, your dental health, my brother says, if you don't take care of that, that, it will create your most immune and health issues for later. Most disease starting in the mouth, right? This m mouth oil pooling, pooling is very profound because the oil, bacteria love oil, they're all gonna get saturated into the bacteria in, in the oil and you'll, whoop, you flush it and then all the bacteria are gone and will get you more powerful and most important you can have a fresh breath for the whole day there's no uh, uh, mouthwash that can do better because most mouthwash are just not healthy for you they're pure alcohol they dry out your mouth skin they kill all the bad bacteria but also all the good bacteria at the same time and you get out of balance and then you get more bad bacteria to grow because 
that's what happens. And then you need more of those mouthwash because you're just going to smell bad and bad. And there's, it's I mouthwash most mouthwash I don't endorse. Just go for an oral pulling, right? Take care of your body, get shaved, broom yourself, dress for success, glow, do whatever it takes to be your best version of you, right? You want to be clean and cleansed and purified, cut your nails, do whatever it takes to be your best, right? So show up to be your best throughout yourself and the whole world will say thank you, right? And what I do after my cold shower, I dry myself, I rebound. And rebound is very powerful because our lymph system has no pump. That means when it's not moving, it will not cleanse and not purify. Does you get toxic? Just a rebound is a very powerful way to very quickly get all the toxins out of your lymph system. If you want to be sure that your lymph system is working at its prime condition, when you wake up in the morning, you go to the bathroom, collect your urine, put a little lid on, let it sit for an hour. If there is clouds going to the bottom of the jar, that means your lymph system is working. Stay your urine clear, that means you're in big trouble because your lymph system is not detoxifying correctly, right? And the rebound is fun, it's amazing, and it's powerful, and it's one of the best way to detoxify your lymph system. Very powerful. Is that your morning? Keep in mind, those things are very fast, right? We just take a little bit more longer because I have to explain. Then make intent every day to listen for one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half hour. Again, you know yourself better than I do, whatever you choose is fine me, but set yourself up to win, right? Listen to gin audio, reading a book from the basic book pack, uh, reading the sip of gin. You can print it, uh, print it out, right? A gin webinar, listen to a bit music. Make sure there's no negative words in the music, right? Because a lot of music starts start very positive, but really it's like carry music, right? <laughs> You're losing your wife, your house, your dog. But when you play backwards, you get it all back, right? Reading the success match course questions, right? Look at your dream book, look uh, at your dream book, dream card. Wear an EP pendant, right? Because you want to remove all the energetic uh, disharmony around you. If you want to get a huge discount on the EP2 pen and just reach out to me, I have a special gin pricing that I can pass forward to you. Do some EFT, emotional freedom technique, do some thought, thought field therapy, that was the origin. Maybe you do a best petitioner exercise in the morning, wear an I Ching system card and write down your aha moments in your diary or journal, right? If you want to sign up for the sip of gin, Go to facebook.com, Globe Information HQ, headquarters, and then say, I want to be notified. And then every day it will come back in your feed. And all the books of Jin you can read below, right? That's the, the endorsed books in Jin. And make them a commitment, right? You don't have to do a half hour, could be one minute, could be five minutes, could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever works for you. Breakfast. You can only build as high up as your foundation is deep, right? Because you have to keep in mind you only can build up as uh, you only can you can only build as high up as your foundation is deep. <laughs> Beautiful. Just remember you can only build up as high as your foundation is deep. It's funny, I got a different in my mind. But every day and every way I get it better. Just you can only build as high up as your foundation is deep. Perfect practice make perfect, right? Your breakfast has to be, in my opinion, the most solid and most heaviest, right? Of course, it's your foundation of the day. This is very, very important. Make sure as much organic as possible. Make sure it's food that is loving and caring for your body. Most food we eat is not really loving and caring for your body. It's more doing harm and stress for your body. I highly endorse you to go to a food specialist or someone that can give you advice that can say which foods are good for you to eat. For example, 
A friend of mine loves eggs in the morning. And then he goes to a food specialist, you know, and a food coach, and he say, I want to do an allergy test. Now the allergy test comes that he is allergic for eggs. And he thinks, oh, my sniffles and my inflammation is just where I sleep too short, I don't feel good. But then he removed the eggs out of the breakfast and all the issues were gone. You don't know which foods are good for you. And what you don't know will hurt you, right? Because you maybe have to go to a food specialist or a food coach or someone that is specialized in food and test which foods are you allergic for and what you need to remove move out of your diet and start eating food that is taking care of you. Why are you going to eat crappy food that you love so much that it does harm to your body, right? This fall of you that eat crappy foods and you say, no, I love my body. I take great care of my body. Okay, why you eat Karen Kohler flakes or why you eat cereals or why you eat, um, uh, um, like say, trans fatty acids or why you eat high frequent syrup. But I love the food. It's so good. I love it. I enjoy the food so much, right? But you put all the crap in and then you get crappy results, right? Most foods out there are not really doing any service towards you, right? This is very important to find foods that are aligned with, coherent with you and are not creating any allergy reactions or inflations to you. If you don't have the funds to go to a, a, a food coach or go to an allergy test and those things, then write down in your journal which foods you eat and see which foods give you the allergy because you can see a pattern in that you know your score and then you find out okay every day i eat x within one hour i have the sniffles right and then you remove that and then the sniffles are gone just keep in mind a lot of food that you enjoy so much is not really loving you and really downgrading and lowering your vibration why do you do things that are not good for you you take great care of your car, you're putting the best oil in there. You give even better and the highest quality food to your pet and you put crap in your body, most of you, right? Just really do whatever you can to put the best food in you, right? And if you don't have funds for organic food and you have to eat the regular food with all the pesticides and toxins and whatever they add to it, then do some more cleanses, right? To remove them out of your system. Of course, cleansing teas are very, very important. Uh, important. Just take time, be thankful, be grateful, be appreciated, be blessed when you eat and uh, appreciate your food. Send love, give thanks to your food, put energy, maybe send some energy, you bless your food. Of course, you never know what happens with your food, right? Maybe the food tail had a bad day and put all that anger into the food. And then you're eating all that anger, right? And if you're an empath and you're very sensitive for energies in food, then I highly endorse you to remove any sentient live being food out of your diet. Of course, they are full of fear, scare, and a little struggle and misery that they have been experienced because a lot of well, uh, sending live beans had a very stressful experience in a very short period of time and you eating and consuming that, right? So if you're very sensitive for those things, I highly endorse you to remove it and then maybe go to once a week, right? Of course, you can get plenty of protein from, from grains, from vegetables, from seaweeds that are much easier to digest from your body, right? Very powerful. Just remember, you can only build as high up as your foundation is deep. You see, perfect practice, my perfect, right? At lunch, eating a little bit lighter meal than in the morning, right? And at night, you eat even lighter, lighter, right? Just heavy in the morning, in my opinion, eat a little bit lighter at noon so you don't get a food coma. I normally eat the size of my fist. And at night, you eat light and try to eat not after six. So your body has time to digest. If you get a little appetite or a little snack or you get a little, you need a little bit to eat, let's eat some fruit, some nuts, right? But don't overdo it. We'll do magic. 
If you have a big yo-yo effect in your, in your sugar levels, and you're hungry all day, or you have hunger attacks or mood swings, check out sun gazing. You can go to Cure Law Foundation, read more about sun gazing, or go to Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about Facebook page, and read about sun gazing, because if you do sun gazing in the morning in the safe hours, and sun gazing in the safe hours at night, it reduces all your appetite. That means you will snack less, you will get a more physique body, you're going to be slimmer, you're going to lose weight faster, and you're going to be better because you're going to transfer all that snacking, you can replace it by snacking and taking a bite out of the sun energy, right? One of the most competitive ways to reduce your food intake is sun gazing in the morning and at night. This is a specific procedure you need to do. If you do it for seven days, you will notice your food intake will reduce magically. My goal rule, I never eat more than one fist size of my hand in food. And you find your way. Some people graze, right? All day, that means they're eating all day little bits. Some people have a strong breakfast in the morning, a good lunch, and a light dinner. We'll really do your magic. And pick foods that are loving you. Eat food that you love, but also food that loves you, right? And make sure they do not create any allergies inside of you. Step seven, you get ready for taking massive freaking action, right? You go to your gym priority, set your intention of the day, and make sure you already did your priorities on Sunday for, for the whole week, right? So you can get going, make sure you're, before you go to bed, you make sure that everything is in check. And set your intention. The intention I mean when you go in priority, you visualize for 10, 15, 20 minutes of all your actions you're gonna do and visualize how you're gonna be the greatest, best version of you, right? Very important. Questions you can ask yourself when you go to priority manager. Is this planned? Do you own this? Is this really need now? Is this a passion? Because if it's not a passion, you're like, eh, I don't do it, right? This time you put it in your priority list because you want to do it as first as you can, when you and you're still good. Always do the crappiest and things you don't want to do first. And then do the things you're very passionate for because then you're like, when I get done, I can do my passions, right? And will this help you to grow? And will this help you to lead through the day? Are like great questions to ask, right? And then you can go to Tiny URL Gene Priority Manager and order Gene Priority Manager and start prioritizing your life. You cannot manage time. There will be a fight or you will never win, but you can manage your priorities, right? And in the, the gym priority management, they will explain step by step how to prioritize and, and set yourself up to succeed every day in every way. And visualize then all your to-dos and then celebrate all your wins on your to-do list and also all your losses. Celebrate them. If you didn't do them today, move them to the next day, but celebrate You say. Every day that I'm going to bed and just celebrate because you want to feel good now, right? Do whatever it takes. Step eight, start your day through the day. Edify yourself, people around you, and give recognition and build relationships and reach out to gym brothers and sisters and welcome friends and family to the gym family. Or just reach out to a friend to say, hey, I was thinking about you. What can I do? Can I be at service, right? Because in every day there are 40 on 40 minutes, that means we have 40 on 40 daily opportunities to make a positive impact in our and other people's lives, right? Make that commitment every day in every way. Start your day, throughout the day, edify, give recognition, build relationships. Don't break them down, build them up. And build people up every day in every way. If somebody's smiling, like, oh, when you are smiling, the whole world smiles back at you. Or you, they look happy, say, you look happy just like me. Or you look wealthy just like me. Do something that break their pattern. Make that day. I do it all the time. Also, when you have any negative thoughts, cancel them out. Or a negative thing you say. You wake up in the morning, oh my God, I feel so crappy this morning. You say, cancel, cancel. I'm gonna, gonna feel fantastic. Or you say something to the day like, Oh, this was the worst day ever. Cancel, cancel. This is going to be the best day of my life. I'm going to great learn great lessons. I'm going to move forward. It was amazing. Always, when you be aware and you find something that is not serving you, 
cancel, cancel, and reframe it with a positive what you want to be. If you miss out the opportunity of, let's say, making a sale, hundred thousand on sale, and you're like, Argh, I'm lost, hundred thousand on sale, you're gonna be all miserable. You're gonna focus what you don't want, and voila, the universe, your wish is your command. You get more of that. You say, you feel bad. You say, cancel, cancel. Every day, every way, I'm gonna get better and better. I'm gonna make a hundred thousand sell, and that's it. Period. Right? Start focusing on what you really want. <laughs> look for the gold. Look for the gold and everything. Look for the good. Look for the gold. Look for the gold. Look for the good. Right? <laughs> look for the gold. Look for the good. Do whatever you can to look and shine light and everything. Switch on the light and just see everything. When you look at things, things change. Your perception can change, you can change, you can do and be better every day. And if it's really challenging for you, use that challenge to command the universe what you really want to be, right? Very, very powerful, make commitments every day and every day to be the golden you, the good you, and every day moving forward with love and light towards your potential, your greatness. Simple steps. Could be a five minutes a day ritual date with yourself. Could be 10 minute ritual date. I'm very blessed. I have a date from one to two hours every morning with myself to set my intention for the day. Because when you make this decision, beloved brother and sister, every day and every way, you set up your intention in the morning and that intention will just ripple like a drop in the water and then the ripples just grow. The whole day is then set up to win. How you feel that you're going to set yourself up every morning to win your day? I can assure you it will change your life. But the question is, are you willing to change your life? And your willingness to learn new things and willingness to do new things. Right? That's your choice. <laughs> Step nine, before you go to bed in the evening, right? Listen to Gin Audio, reading a book, sip of gin, and gin webinar. Listen a bit... Happy music, reading the success message course questions, dream book, dream board, EFT, best, I Ching, write down your aha moment reflections of the day, work out your period list for the next day. Those are things that are very powerful to get you doing. One tip for all of you, if you're in a relationship or with family or friends, say to them, after 4 p.m., we're not going to talk about any heavy stuff. We're going to just entertain, have a good time together. So you can bring all the goodness into the day and into the night, right? It's not into the day, but into the night to the next day. That's what I meant to say. Very, very powerful can really shift you. You will never run out of audios and gin. You will never run out of webinars. Gym always grow and always expand. Gin can give you all the tools to make your success. But you need to take massive action every day and every way to work towards your greatness. And keep in mind, never compare yourself. Some people go very quick. Some people take more time. Some people take a long time. But life's not a race because your timeline is longer than you can imagine. And then all things in the law of attraction will make much more sense. So make that your goal. Work every day and every way. Make your life go great. Make a dream. Make your desires come true every day. I'm very excited, you know. These are simple tips to make your life amazing. I can show you you're going to win your day. You're going to bless your day. And just move forward every day and every way with love and light. Because you deserve your greatness, your power, your light. And most important, set yourself every day and every way to win your morning so you can win your day. I say to all of you, have a beautiful day. I love your heart and soul. Have a blessed one. Have fun. Be bold. Be fearless. And just show up to be the greatest version of you every day and every day. Have fun. Ciao. Love you, brothers and sisters. More than you'll ever know. Pajano. <laughs>